now, you know, today you have no idea how many devices you own that have a chip in, let alone how many chips are in it. Like how many chips are in a car? Like who knows? Because in you know, 1970, the answer was none. You know, maybe in the radio. Um, today, how many devices do you own that have a chip? You don't really know. Um, you probably know how many devices you own that have a network connection. Well, you know, there's a smart speaker, the TV, the radio, the yeah. car, there's the laptop, your phone. You maybe you have 10 or 15 things that have a network connection. And in the same way, you won't know, my child children won't know how many devices they own that have a network connection. And that will be like saying how many electric motors do you own. Like it won't be a question that you would ever think about. I think that uh, in the car environment is also fair to acknowledge that uh, the trend uh, is uh, moving from uh, the original many, many microcontrollers, so a distributed uh, and uh, uh, multiple uh, controllers uh, for airbag system, uh, tires, pressure, uh, mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, going more and more to the central computer architecture that is back to the point we discussed before, uh, trying yeah. to have a single hardware, but uh, uh, with yeah, simple, hard, simple color complex software. Uh, exactly, exactly. That, that, that's, that's the point uh, that you can achieve uh, with a central computer approach, while uh, if you're going for the distributed approach, that, that architecture will, will not fly. Uh, 